Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where we're covering Superman issue 78 and the second story, The Strong Man Club. Yesterday, I really liked the first story in 78, which was a lot of fun. Today, we have a story that's more your normal devoid of fun. Well, it's not completely devoid of fun. There is a giant lock to get into the club that you have to be very strong to lift, and that's kind of fun. Other than that, not really. And it's a Bill Finger script, which is surprising. He's usually a lot more fun and has, you know, colorful characters. But this has very little of that or even a memorable character. Superman's not even that memorable in this comic. And he's the star. You see, there is an Atlas club. That is the name of the Strongman Club. Superman eventually meets Atlas. Has he met Atlas? May have met at someone who thought they were Atlas. I don't know, there's been a lot of Greek mythology in here. And someone's trying to kill members. It's later revealed, and it takes a while to get to this reveal. Like, a while to get to this reveal. I know I repeated that twice, but legitimately, a while to get to this reveal. They're trying to see who survives the attacks, because they assume Superman would be in a strongman club. I don't think these criminals know a lot about Superman. He's not much of the club type. He's too busy for it. He's constantly saving the city and people. Also, the club says they wouldn't allow Superman. Clark, after saving a few of these people, which is most of the action in this comic and a lot of the actual story of this comic, is him just going from one dangerous death trap to another. And when I say death trap, I mean more like molten metal being poured on a guy and uh, a potential explosion than an actual fun death trap that a colorful villain that Bill Finger would have created for Batman would have come up with. Like a giant magnifying glass to burn him down or something that involves balloons. I'm not that creative. That's why I can never write Batman. But once again, this gets into uh, the general problem in a Superman story. Just a lot of action without much of a plot. Him running from one thing to the next. All of it feels like filler, which is a little aggressive. It just, it's easier to write than actual, you know, story. And once again, they're cranking these things out. So it, it's a mediocre story that is entirely empty. And it gets worse when we get to the end of the story. Clark does eventually enter the, the club and we do get one other kind of fun, ridiculous thing with the club. They decide who their, uh, governing council is by using one of those carnival strength testers you know when you take the hammer and hit it and by uh the level of strength decides who the president vice president secretary which is an awful method but you know visually a lot of fun a lot might be a little too strong there and then the ending's really disappointing we finally get these criminals and they try to kill clark so they shoot at him now we're told that they hit him we do not see this it happens off panel in the gutter they're so sure that Clark is Superman at this point. And you feel like this would be a bigger moment. But within two panels, like literally in the next page, we don't even see them telling their boss. We just go to the next day where we assume they've told the boss. And then one very excitedly runs into the room with a newspaper. And the Daily Planet headline is reporter is saved by a new kind of vest. Some, some version of that vest. Some sort of lie to explain why Clark survived the bullet. And that ends the story. We don't even get a confrontation with the guys who've been trying to murder people throughout the story. That is such an afterthought. It's just, well, we've tested everybody, so it can't be that. No one in this club can possibly be Superman. But they were still attempted murderers, Superman. You should deal with them. I'm aggravated by this <laughs> It's not a good story. I've told you it's not a good story. It's a very empty story. Okay, that is it from Superman 78, The Strong Man Club. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday's is Bat Friday, where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let's ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man of tomorrow? And if you're going to introduce criminals, you need to have Superman fight them by the end of the story. I didn't think I would have to say this. You can't just deal with it off panel or just ignore it. You got to actually deal with it. Okay, have a great day.